The House of Representatives has again rescheduled Thursday this week for the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Godwin, and may fail to appear before it. This is the second time the CBN boss has failed to appear before the House after motion at plenary to not only suspend the cash withdrawal limits but for a mayfairly to brief members on the reason for the new policy. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Hegene completes the report. The decision to invite the CBN Governor Emefele again was taken during plenary on Tuesday and it came after the Speaker Honorable Femik Baja Biamila read a letter from him requesting that a rescheduled date be given for his appearance as he was out of the country. This House gets a proper full briefing and I think it behoves on the CBN Governor in accordance with the law to brief this house. Honorable Lulu has raised a valid point that what if his official assignment keeps him away even longer? At this point, we will be requesting to find out what that official assignment is that will keep the CBN governor away for almost two weeks. I would like to know what that official assignment at this critical point in Nigeria that will keep him away for two weeks. So in my humble opinion, I think because this house will also more than likely close on Thursday for the Christmas break, I think we should resolve to invite the CBN governor to brief this house on Thursday morning and if for any reason it is verified that he is unavoidably out of the country on Thursday, that he asks his deputy governor or anyone who is well equipped to fully brief this house so that we do not carry this thing on to next year. Mr. Speaker, I want to concur with your submission and on this particular matter, I want to appeal to members of the House. If you look at the context of the letter written out, as the speaker, speaker has rightly said, the letter, the letter came out of here when the gentleman was out of the country. I would just want to appeal to the members of the House with the Speaker to go about giving a new date for the invitation to come back to the House to, the, to come explain to, to Nigeria. The crafters of the Nigerian Constitution, Mr. Speaker, did not make error to create House of Representatives to call for public office holders to account for their activities on behalf of Nigerians. I think at this point in time, it is quite important for us to let such public office holders know that it is not right, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, that is summoning the CBN governor or Honorable Yusuf Gagdi or Deputy Speaker or any member, it is the collective wills of the Nigerian people that are inviting the CBN governor to come and explain some of the policies that Nigerian people need explanation. The law we, have, yes. we have already passed a resolution asking him to suspend the implementation of that policy. And Sine has also equally concurred. So we, Sine, had all, Sine has also concurred with the resolution we passed. So whether he comes or he doesn't come, we have passed a resolution asking him to suspend and Sine has concurred. So what we should be looking at is to see whether he will disregard the concurrent, the board chamber's resolution. The House had invited the CBN governor last week to explain the rationale behind the cash withdrawal limits which it asked the CBN to suspend in concurrence with its Senate counterparts. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.